Okay, this is question 19, and we are getting towards the end of the paper, so you would expect a reasonable level of difficulty and challenge on this question. But with a little bit of clear thinking and working out, we can get the full three marks on this question. Yes, this question is worth three marks, because it's a multi-step question. Multi-step question is where you've got to do several steps to get to the final answer. So let's have a read. Miss Mills is making jam to sell at the school fair. Yum, yum, yum. Strawberries cost £7.50 per kilogram. Sugar costs 79 pence per kilogram. And 10 glass jars cost £6.90. She uses 12 kilograms of strawberries and 10 kilograms of sugar to make 20 jars full of jam. Now what we're going to do is break this down. So let's go with the strawberries first. So strawberries are £7.50 per kilogram. Now if we look down here, we need 12 kilograms of strawberries. So because this is per kilogram, that's for one kilogram, we need 12 kilograms. So we need to times this £7.50 by 12. Now there's a very, very simple way of times the decimal by 12. And that's actually to break it down into times 10 and times 2. Because if you've got 10 lots of 750 and 2 lots of 750, you've actually got 12 lots of 750 if you put the two answers together. So that's what we're going to do. So on this line here, we're going to work out our strawberry. So let's put straw for short. So I'm going to do 750 times 10 first. Now any time you times a decimal by 10, you move all the digits one place forwards. In other words, to the left. Because you're making the each digit with its place value 10 times bigger. So the 7 is going to move into the next column. The 5 is going to move into the next column. And the 0 is going to move into the next column. But your decimal point is going to stay with it. You can't forget to put that decimal point in. So put your decimal point in. So your £7.50 has actually now become £75. Now let's look at the two lots. So I want this time £7.50 times 2. So two lots of 50p is £1. And two lots of £7 is £14. Put your two answers together. £14 and £1 is £15. So, my 10 lots is £75 and my 2 lots is £15. So my 12 lots all together will be these two answers joined together. So 75 plus 15, you can probably do that in your head, that's going to be £90. So all together, my total cost of strawberries is £90. I'm just going to write that there with a circle around it because I'm going to need to come back to that later. Let's get a different colour for sugar. So sugar is 79p per kilogram. But I need 10 kilograms of sugar. So if this is 1 kilogram, I need 10 of these. So I need to times my 79p by 10. So sugar. So I've got 79p times 10. Now then, 79 times 10, that's nice and easy. That's going to be 790 pence. But don't forget, this answer here is in pounds. So it's no good having this one in pounds and this one in pence. So 790 pence is actually £7.90. So let's pop that there and put a circle around it. We'll need that later. The final thing we need is our 10 glass jars. Now, 10 glass jars is £6.90. But if you read the question down here, it says we need 20 jars. So we need double the amount of jars that we're given. So if we're given the cost for 10 jars, we need 20 jars. So if I times this by 2, times my cost by 2, I'll be getting the cost of double 2 lots of 10 jars, which is 20 jars. So that's why I need to times it by 2. So let's scroll down and let's do £6.90 times 2. So 6 90 times 2. Might have struggled to do this in my head. So I'm going to do a little column method just to make sure. 2 lots of nothing is nothing. 2 lots of 9 is 18. Put the 8 in, carry the 1. 2 lots of 6 is 12. Plus the 1 is 13. £13.80. So my total cost for my jars is £13.80. There we go. However, even though I've worked out three separate calculations, I've still not got what it's asking me for. It's actually asking me for the total cost. So I now need to add all of these three answers together. 
If I left it at this point without doing any more, I will get two marks. Okay? But I need to find my total cost to get my third mark. So here we go. I've got three numbers. I'm actually going to put my decimal points in first to help me line everything up. So £90 would be going there in front of the decimal point. £7.90 would go in like that around the decimal point. And £13.80 and pence would go in around the point there. Very important to line everything up around the decimal points. Okay, ninety pound has obviously got no pence on it. So if you want to put those zeros in, that's fine. And now we're in a position to work out the final answer. So you just need to add this together. Now this is going to be our final calculation. So zero, zero, and zero is still zero. Nothing plus nine plus eight is seventeen. Put the seven in. Carry the one. 0 plus 7 plus 3 is 10, plus 1 is 11. Put the 1 in, carry the 1. And 9 plus 1 is 10, plus that 1 is 11. Put the 1 in, carry the 1. But because you've got to the last column, this one you carry can just go straight in. And there's your final answer. So your final answer, which you need to put in this space here. For some reason the pen start working just at a crucial moment is £111 and 70p. A three mark question, multi-step, but once you've worked out all three steps and you've added it together, you've got to stay calm, you'll get your final answer.